Hey guys, it's King Seven Two here, and welcome back to another Bright and Career Mode on FIFA 17. In the last episode, we played a few games, and we finally managed to stay in the well, get in the top spot in the Premier League now. And uh, now we have a game against Fiorentina next in the Europa League, and we'll just get uh, start that game right away. All right, so we start off this game against Fiorentina. We're playing this game away. This is the third game in the group stage, and Fiorentina right now are tied with us in first place. So this is a fight for first place right now. And if we get the three points, we'll be nine points and three points in the, in the lead against Fiorentina. That was a nice through ball to Lawton. Lawton's gonna take a nice fake shot. Works out well. The we'll goal for a goal gets saved. If you can keep that in. Oh come on, that ha diving head out just did not. Oh, the nice run, Knockart on the wing. Still Anthony Knockart. Oh come on, I'm waiting for Lawton to get in the boss. We get a corner now. All right, I'll take this corner short. Give it to Lawton. Lawton now is trying to go for a cross. Hendricks right there. Is that Hendricks? No, it's Oxford. No, it's Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey gets the header. And there we go, off the short corner. Lawton with a nice, precise cross into Bailey, and Bailey just heads it in to the top corner. It's a nice through about the Lawton. Lawton right here, trying to go for a goal, but gets saved. Alright, now we'll take another short corner right here. Lawton now, they're sending a cross. Oh, they're... We got a penalty. <laughs> we got a... <laughs> oh shit, okay, I'll take that. Alright, so now it's Leon Bailey for a chance to score a second goal for himself. Can we just, there we go, we send the keeper going the wrong way and Leon Billy gets a second goal of the game. Alright, here's Anthony Knocker on the ball. Anthony Knocker trying to go for a cross. And we got a header to it, but I think it's a corner. Holy shit, <laughs> another screen I've never seen in this game yet. I think this is a new addition or something after the update. Oh, come on, it's a penalty! <laughs> At the edge of the box as well, we get another penalty and a straight red as well. Just look at this penalty right here. Uh, uh, Locatelli gets a ball at the edge of the box and Astori just goes for the tackle. And I really had to switch to this penalty kick there. I don't know why it's always locked in, but I'm going to give it back to Bailey. And we're going to go the same direction. Hopefully the keeper doesn't go the same way and he does it. He didn't dive and Bailey completes the hat trick even though he scored... Uh, Two penalties, but still a hat trick. All right, here's Fosu Mensa on the ball. Fosu Mensa, gonna give it out. We get a shot, but Oliver Norwood on the ball now. Gives to Leon Bailey. Let's go, Locatelli with a shot and gets blocked. All right, let's make some substitution right now. Let's take off Fosu Mensa off for Zalelam. Um, we could take off Lawton for Isaac, and um. Let's see, what else? You know what, let's put on uh, Emery Moore off for Knockart. Alright, I'm going to take a short corner right here. Emery Moore on the ball. Gonna send it across. Can we get a header to it? And that was just off target. Alright, Emery Moore now on the attack. Here's Emery Moore. He's all alone, all by himself. Let's go for a goal. Open net. There we go, it's the fourth goal. We take advantage of the extra man. And... I don't know who scored. It was the empty man. It was the little. Oh, he just came off the bench as well. Oh, the nice come from Emery Moore. And I know it's a tough uh, angle for him to kick the shot in and not be expecting to, uh, to score a goal in that position. But I was hoping for the best. And luckily, he went back to Zilela and it was the empty net and he just tapped it in. And there we go. That's a full time whistle right there. We keep a clean sheet in this game. It also scored four goals past. The team that has won the pre their previous two games and the only team in this group that, you know, gives a, like, has a chance of overtaking us in the, uh, as group leaders. And we just smashed them 4 nothing. and this man, Leon Bailey, scored 75% of those goals. Even though 50% of those goals were uh, penalties, it still doesn't matter. We still got the win. Well, as you can see there, uh, you did, you guys did see Leon Billing winning the match ball, so obviously he won man of the match, and he got a perfect 10 rating in this game. Um, gets, uh, scores a hat trick, come on, you have to get a 10 rating for that. Lawton also getting a good rating as well, 9.3, getting a 2 assist. Emery Moore coming off the bench, got an assist, 7.5, and Zalelam getting a goal, gets an 8.6.
All right, so next we have a game against uh, last place Sunderland in the Premier League, and I'm gonna take a risk of simulating this game with our B team, and we also the away team as well. So hopefully that doesn't bite us. I'll, be, I'll take a nil nil draw. I'll take it. Um, they, although they did get a red card, so kind of almost like treating it as a loss. But at least we only drop. Uh, at least we're still undefeated in the Premier League. All right, so next we have a tough game against Chelsea in the EFL Cup uh, round of four, the sports round actually. So we'll just play this game. Yeah. All right, so we kick off this game against Chelsea. It's uh, the round before the round of 16, I think it is. I think it is like that. Um, so let's hope we get the win and move on to the next round. All right, here's Fosu Mensa on the ball. Fosu Mensa trying to go for a shot. There, MK Net. Holy shit, just like that. Under five minutes in game, it's Theo Hernandez as well that gets the goal. Empty net, he just heads it in. All right, here's Fosso Mets on the ball. He's gonna give it to Anthony Knockart. Now Locatelli. Oh, what a nice defending from Zuma, and he just clears it away. Holy shit! Diego Costa, early in the second half, scores a. Honestly. I know I gave him some room, but honestly, I was not expecting a long shot from there. Oh, what the hell. Nice goal from Diego Costa. Holy shit. Top corner finish. I'm, it's going to be it's gonna hard, it's gonna be hard to find a goal to put us, bring us back in the lead now. All right, let's mix up substitution right now. Let's take off Locatelli off for Zalela. Um, uh, let's also take off uh, Oliver Norwood. For Poha, I don't know why I did that. Okay, and last substitution could be. Uh, don't know if, if I want to put on Isaac or Emre Moore. You know what? Let's take off Lawton for Isaac. All right, here's Leon Bailey on the wing. Take the nice fake shot. Cuts around the defense. Let's go for a long shot, and it gets blocked by the Chelsea defense. And I think yeah, that's a full time whistle. Alright, so we've gone to extra time, and I can't make any more substitution as well, so let's just hope we go with, find a goal in this extra time. If not, penalty shootout. Uh, penalty shootout has become lucky for us. We've been winning pretty much every penalty shootout we've got. I think we only got one, though, to be honest, but hopefully we can still win. Oh, right, we have a corner right here. It's near the 120 minute. We're going to take a short. Leon Belly's going to send it across. Come on, head that in. Oh, come on. Don't take an extra touch. Holy shit, <laughs> and Zuma's com complaining for a foul right there. Alright, and that's full time. We're going to penalty shootouts now. We couldn't find a goal in extra time. And hopefully, we'll get another win in penalty shootouts. Alright, so we're going first in penalty shootouts. And I am chose Zellian to take the first penalty kick. Let's hope he converts his shot. Holy shit, Zillilum was a mistake, not nah, Hazard. Hazard. Perfect. Yes, we saved Hazard shot. Okay, it's all level now. Now Anthony Narka. Let's convert his penalty into the back of the net. There we go. Okay, now Seth Fabregas is taking his penalty. I'm gonna... Oh, wow. That was so unlucky. Hits off the post and goes in. And now it's Benjamin Henricks with his penalty shot. And he converts it as well. All right, David Lewis is a third, uh, third up for them, and he's taking a big run up. Um, let's. Perfect. Yes, we saved David Lewis's penalty as well. And now it's the man, Leon Bailey. Let's hope he converts his penalty nice. Perfect. And he does right there. Holy shit! It's down to this penalty now. If this guy misses it, we're for sure in. It's Matic, the captain, right now. Okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, it was right there. Shit. All right, it's up to Isaac now. Isaac is our fifth penalty kicker. If he scores, we win. If he doesn't, then it's going to go on. Let's just... Perfect. Oh, we scored. a Holy shot. I thought he saved it, but no. It wasn't enough to him for him to keep it, the ball out of the net. It still goes in, and Isaac scores a winning penalty. There we have it, a replay. I thought it got, oh, it got saved by his elbow right there, but it's not a good save, and it goes just it just deflects it into the back of the net. All right, so there we have it. We have beat Chelsea through penalty shootouts, and 
To be honest, we didn't get mad. None of our players got mad in the match. Uh, the best player on our side has to be our goal scorer, Dior Hernandez, who got an 8.0. Um, Fosa Mensa gets a 7.3. Oliver Norwood gets a 7.5. Locked in with the 7. Locatelli, who got the assist, gets a 6.7. And man, the match goes to another other than the guy who scored from outside the box. Diego Costa gets an 8.2, but it's a shame that um, he got man in the match and still lost. Alright, so next we have a game against 19th place Newcastle United, who were been uh, promoted with us into the Premier League. And since our 19th place, I'm going to simulate this game with our B team again. We're, this time we're the home team, unlike the Sunderland game, so hopefully we get the 3 points. And give me another draw, which again I'll take with our B team. Alright, so the next and last final game of the episode will be against Malmo in the Europa League. Alright, so we kick off this game against Malmo. This is our fourth game in the Europa League and possibly if we win in this game, we could probably uh, seal a spot into the round of 16 or round of 32 actually. Alright, here's Lotte on the ball. Lotte, let's go go for a shot and it gets blocked by the keeper. Alright, we're going to take a short corner right here. Lotte now on the ball. Just send it across. Can we get the header to it? Oh my goodness! That's happened. Is that, is that Theo Hernandez again? I think it is. There we go, Theo Hernandez again with the header. And this time, this header is much easier than the last header. Oh, uh, it's just been given to him. He just leaps over the keeper, and the keeper's on the floor. <laughs> and it's much closer as well from the last goal. Alright, here's Naka on the wing. It's a nice fake shot. What? Referee, you just injured my player! And there we go, we get a four substitution now. Anthony Naka is injured from that play. I can't believe that's not a foul. Referee. Holy shit, okay, we have to put on Emery Moore. Are you literally kidding me? Oh my god, that's a tactic, eh? Take one of our star players out and just easily go on the counter attack. Oh, and that too, Oxford was being blocked as well by that same play that scored. Holy shit, they're playing dirty. Alright, here's Emery Moore on the ball. Emery Moore trying to go for a long range, and wow, that was going on target as well. Alright, here's Emery Moore on the ball. Emery Moore, just go for a shot, and there we go. Emery Moore, the replacement for Nalkart, finds us and puts us in the lead. It also was a short free kick, and it was daily that find the pass to Emery Moore. There's a nice turnaround and just smash it at home. Alright, let's make some substitutions right now. Let's take off Emery Moore. I know he just came on, but he's pretty tight already. Let's put on Hakimi. And our final substitution is going to be Fosu Mensa off for Poha. Alright, it's the 85th minute right now. Malmo have a corner. They're trying to find the equalizer right here, but I'm, I'm just trying to keep <laughs> clear this ball away. Still in the danger zone, the ball. And it's a free kick for us. And there we go. That was a close game that was 2-1. And at home as well. We're the home team. Malmo played really well. Although they did injure one of our players. And the kind of the goal they scored was kind of a dirty play, but whatever. They still kept it. I thought we could win comfortably like 3 nothing, but there we go. Alright, so our man in the match goes to Theo Hernandez. He did get the first goal for us, even though it was like an easy goal for him. Just headed away, gets a 9.1. Emery Moore, who scored the second goal, gets an 8.9. Also coming off the bench and going back into the bench because Anaka was injured. Leon Billy gets an 8.8. .8. Alright, so we have some bad news right here. Anthony Naka has been injured with the sprained ankle for four weeks. Holy shit. So he's going to be pretty much going to come back by the time... Uh, what month are we? I think we're in November, I think. So either December or January, will he'll be back. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys how the uh, group stage looks like for the Europa League right now. And we're currently in first place, and that's obviously, of course, we won all four of our games. We have 12 points. Fiorentina are now 5 points behind us instead of just 3. They dropped 2 points against Utrecht. And Malmo, uh, they might have lost the uh, last game against us, but they're still in third place with 3 points. But this is a Europa League, so, you, uh, so third place doesn't really matter. Third place won't give you any... Uh, Europa League spot like how the Champions League does so the first two spots is one that matters and it looks like Fiorentina might have it easy uh, although they still have a game against us to come up as well and Malmo has already got the hard part over with now, now they just have Fiorentina and Utrecht and we have the 
Fiorentina again, which we beat them 4 0. Now we had to play them in our stadium. And then Udirect, I think we played them in our stadium again, I think. And now looking at the Premier League table, um, we, we're, we're actually still in first place, but it's just since Leicester has played a game in hand, they are on sitting on top with a one point extra. Um, so if we win this next game that we're going to play, um, we could go back in top. And we're the only team undefeated in this Premier League right now, so that's pretty good. Man City in third place with 20 points. Crystal Palace also with 20 points in fourth. And Chelsea also with 20 points in fifth. So a uh, tough competition between the top right there. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, you see Sunderland, Newcastle United, and Man United. Man United, who won the Premier League last season. Uh, if I'm wrong, I think they did win last. They, they won the Premier League last season. I checked it. Uh, if you guys don't, don't believe me, you guys check the season one last episode as well. I'm pretty sure they won Premier League. They're saying dead last. Holy shit! This kind of reminds me of Chelsea um, last year when, when Jose Mourinho was in charge. He won the Premier League with them, and the next season he's they're in relegation zone, and that's what exactly they're doing. I think. Yeah, I won't be surprised to hear news that saying that Jose Mourinho was sacked in the game. But shit, honestly, I would sack him right now for this performance. They're sitting dead last. And while well, we're sitting almost in first place. So that will be it for this episode right here. Next episode, we'll have a game against Swansea, which I might simulate as well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, make sure to leave a huge like. It really helped me a lot. Subscribe if you have it. And we'll see you next time in the next episode. All right, here's Lawton. Lawton's gonna give the ball to Emery Moore. Emery Moore, go for goal, and there we go, the 90th minute. Emery Moore, holy shit, I can't. Get run over by a car and die, <laughs> or kill five small children with their car. Okay, so let me just say that's a great way to start the episode. <laughs>